Welcome to Serwin's Accounting Lectures. Today, magkakaroon tayo ng pen and paper video problem solving patungkol sa Lecture 04, Notes Receivable, Interest Bearing with Realistic Interest Rate. Actually, nasa description ng mismong video lecture na ito yung problem under discussion. Kung gusto mong sagutan ng solo at balikan ang lecture na ito kapag tapos ka na, mas mabuti. Kasi ang accounting ay natututunan not by mere listening but actually by you doing the problem solving. Pero kung may sagot ka na nga, simulan na natin. So again, lecture 04, notes receivable, interest bearing with realistic interest rate. And here is our problem. On January 1, 2024, Leona Dasilio Corporation sold an equipment to Jun Mingueto Corporation. In lieu of cash payment, Mingueto gave Dasilio a 4-year 100,000 10% note. The note requires interest to be paid annually on December 31. The equipment has a cost of 500,000 and the cumulative depreciation as of January 1, 2024 of 350,000. The 10% interest rate is a realistic rate of interest for a note of this type. Here are the requirements. Letter A. Compute for the following as of December 31, 2024. Gain or loss on sale of equipment, the interest income, the current portion, and the non-current portion of notes receivable. And also, letter B. Prepare the entries in 2024. Ngayon, bago natin sagutan, ipaliwanag lang muna natin ano ba itong note na to. Okay, ang sabi kasi dito, interest bearing. Paano siya nalalaman? Kasi, merong kang inisyo na note o natanggap. Minsan, sasabihin ng problem na yung note itself may interest na talaga. Kaya nga, interest bearing. So, in this problem, 10% note explicitly binanggit. Kaya nga siya interest bearing. Ngayon, ano naman itong realistic interest rate? May dalawang klase kasing interest rate eh. Sa case ng interest bearing, we have realistic and then unrealistic na magsasagot din tayo later on ng unrealistic na, na interest rate. Ang pagkakaiba ng dalawa, dun sa kanilang usapan, let's say in this problem, 10%, Okay? Yun din mismo yung nag exist yung kalakaran, yung prevailing na rate in the market. May mga pagkakataon kasi na nagkakaroon ng utangan pero yung interest na ibinibigay ay hindi yung totoo. Minsan halimbawa, sobrang baba. O bagay, malagyan lang baga. Halimbawa, ang nag exist sa market, let's say 8-10%, pero press yung kaibigan, nagkaroon lang ng interest rate, let's say 2%, masyadong mababa. That, therefore, that is unrealistic. Na magsasagot nga tayo ng problem patungkol dun. Pero sa ngayon, okay, we will assume that whatever is the rate stated, the interest bearing rate, the, the interest bearing note, yun din yung talagang totoong interest rate. Okay, normally the case naman ay ganun. Sasabihin dapat ng problem if the interest rate is unrealistic kasi normally realistic dapat. Okay? So sagutan na po natin yung letter A. Compute for the following. So okay, A number 1, we have to compute for gain or loss on sale. Simple lang 'yan. We have to to compare the selling price and the cost. When we say selling price in this case, ano ba ang natanggap natin? Hindi ba't note? Okay, therefore, yun yung parang ano, collectible mo siya. Okay? So, yan yung para sa'yo. Which is 100,000. Okay? Ikukumpara mo yan, yung, yung natanggap mo. Dun sa yung pinakawalan. Ang pinakawalan mo naman, syempre, yung equipment. Okay? So, the equipment, yan, has a cost of Sabi dito, 500,000. And it has accumulated depreciation of 350,000. Therefore, when we deduct these two, okay, that would be the carrying amount. Meaning yung totoong value talaga ng equipment. Okay? So, 500,000 minus 350,000, okay, that would be 150,000. Ayan yun yung carrying amount. So, ang consideration receive mo, 100,000. Pero ang pinakawala mo, yung transferred mo, is 150,000. Therefore, there is a what we call loss on sale. Kasi nga, 100,000 lang natanggap natin. Magkano po yan? 150,000 minus 100,000. We will get 50,000. This time, negative. O, nasagot na po yung una. Madali lang naman yung kaunahan, yung gain or loss. Now, question number two. Okay? How much is the interest income? Interest income, since ito ay interest bearing at saka realistic pa yung interest, malamang the formula will just be principal times rate times time. Di ba yan yun? Wherein the principal is 100,000, yung note itself. 
the rate since that is interest bearing at realistic pa siya which is 10% 10% yung rate na gagamitin what is the time since initial yung note ay January 1 at ngayon ay December 31 therefore that is 12 months over 12 or just 1 year di ba so the answer would be 100,000 okay multiply by 10% therefore that would be 10 Thousand. Ganon kasimple kapag ka-interest bearing Kasi kung ano talaga yung ibinigay na interest Yun na rin yung naging income talaga natin Question number 3 How much is the current portion? Okay The current portion of the note Okay, would be Zero Why zero? Sapagkat binanggit po ng, ng transaction Na 4 years yung note Okay Eh, ang current year is yung collectible 1 year from the date of the financial statements ay 4 year naman so therefore wala tayong current portion kapag tinanong naman how much is the non-current portion common sense kasi 400,000 yung note 0 yung current portion therefore the non-current portion would be the total amount the 400,000 hindi rin naman sinasabi na yung, na, na yung note ay on installment kaya therefore yung buong amount talaga 400,000 yung magiging non-current portion I believe na sagutan na po natin lahat ng requirement dito sa letter A. Now, let's go with the letter B. Letter B is journal entries. Okay? Journal entries. What will be the entry on the date when the note was received? Which is January 1, 2024. So, one we are going to debit notes receivable. Kasi yun talaga yung ating natanggap. Okay? Amounting to 100,000. We are going to debit accumulated depreciation Amounting to 350,000 Sinabi ng problem Because we are going to de-recognize the equipment We are also going to credit the equipment Okay Amounting to 500,000 Eh hindi yan balance eh. That's why may isa pa pala tayong debit Sisingit na lang sa taas Okay We are going to debit loss on sale of equipment Amounting to 50 Tausang kasi yun yung kwenenta natin kanina Okay, I believe that will be the entry on January 1 Another entry Di ba lilipas yung panahon? Datating ang December 31, 2024 Wherein ang sabi ng problem Magkakaroon ng interest payment annually Tuwing December 31 So, dahil tayo yung nagpautang We are going to receive the interest So, we are going to debit cash Magkano? 10,000 And we are going to credit interest Income Amounting to 10,000 Okay? Yun na po yung entry Sa pinakang simpleng klase ng note Kung sakaling interest bearing At saka realistic yung interest rate So I believe may natutunan ka na So yun lamang at maraming salamat